Well, the New York City Marathon is a bucket list item for so many, and for the Bachelorette favorite Tyler Cameron, it's one he has crossed off many times, including just last weekend. He's here to give us the inside scoop on what it was like, plus so much more. Welcome, Tyler. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. How you feeling? Uh, I'm finally recovering. I'm finally feeling like I'm back. I can do the stairs now. So I'm feeling good. Yeah, well, this is not your first marathon, as we mentioned. So it, does it get easier? Is it? It how, never gets easier. What was it like easier. just last time? You, like, you always like. Well, what happens is you forget how bad it was <laughs> yeah. afterwards. It's like oh, having babies. I'll just sign up and do it again. You know. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, it's, it's like having babies. I don't think I'll have that problem. You know? No. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you you were running this time for a very special person yes. for your mom. So tell yep. us about the foundation that you and your brothers set up in her name. Yeah. So uh, you know we lost my mom about a year and a half ago. Sorry. And. Uh, so we wanted to find you know, a way to honor her. And we came up with the Andreas C. Cameron Foundation because she was not only a mother to us, she was a mother to so many others. And uh, we wanted to find a way to, you know, for her to still be that motherly figure. We said, why not, you know, create a scholarship fund and help provide scholarships for those, you know, first generation kids going to college and trade schools and whatnot. So. That's amazing that you're doing that. You know what? A lot of people want to run the marathon. Um, you posted some pics from the day. Yeah. For you know, and it's on a lot of people's bucket list. Do you have any advice for people who might not be over that hurdle of doing it, but want to get started? Yeah. So my favorite saying I live by is, if you want to go somewhere fast, go by yourself. If you want to go somewhere far, go with somebody. Yeah. So build a team. Like you know, we got. I had like six guys from Jupiter. We all built a team. We all ran together. We all held each other accountable. And accountability takes you so far. Yeah. You know, so we all ran together and trained together, and really it brought us tighter. And you know, as you see right there, I'm running with Matt. Yeah. You know, Matt slowed down and, and ran with me the whole time. Oh, you that's know? nice. So it was, uh, you know, they just someone to push you and keep you going. It's incredible. Yeah, and actually, you and Matt started an amazing company. It's ABC Food Tours. Yep. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So ABC Food Tours is, you know, was Matt's idea when he told me about it. I loved it and just wanted to run with it with him. And, yeah. uh so basically what we do is we take kids you know, from Title I schools here in New York and in Brooklyn, Manhattan, all these areas, and we take them on these fitness and food excursions and bring them around the city and just trying to show them you know, what the city has to offer them. And then we surround them with people from different career paths to hopefully spark something in these kids. That's and awesome. Maybe they want to choose something else you know, as a career. You're just introducing them to new things. Exactly. Yeah, I love that. Well, you also recently wrote a book. Yep. And it's, um, it's part memoir. It's part self-help. Um, so when was the moment for you that you realized that you deserve better? I think it was when I was really battling depression. I was, you know, I, I, my football career ended with an injury and the next day I got dumped, you know, deservingly so. Yeah. And then, you know, I was like depressed for like, you know, probably, you know, a couple months and I started doing these little things to kind of get myself back, get myself yeah. back, get myself back. And once I started instilling confidence in myself, I was like, oh, that's like the whole deserving better part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not just a football player. I'm not just this guy. I'm so much more. Yeah. And so kind of just building confidence within myself really kind of gave me that you deserve better mantra. Yeah, and you're trying to teach other people that exactly. they can do it too. Um, you know, The Bachelorette and The Bachelor is such a crazy experience, and I don't know where you talked about it, but I think you were saying it's crazy when you, get, when you leave there because you're famous for doing nothing really talking to a girl for doing nothing so how did you like get grounded again after that whole experience i got i got friends that like to joke on me a lot and yeah humble me. that helps and so <laughs> they uh they always humble me you know my dad's the same way you know he's quick to you know humble me and, and make you know crack a joke on me but it's just about being around the right people and, and like you know my best friends you know i write about them in my book yeah they're still my best friends you know i'm grateful to have molly and Katie and people like that in my life. You know, Molly lives two blocks away from me. They hold you accountable. Exactly. You know, one thing I really want to get to, though, is the, the sketch on SNL, because uh, you were on the Kim Kardashian episode with the with the dreamy guy sketch or something. Yep. How does that even happen? Like, who who called you and said, we want you to be in this Kim Kardashian sketch? Yeah, they called me on, like, a fr the Friday night before, and I was, like, going to a wedding in Charleston the next day, and they're like, we need, you know, we want you to come join us. I was like, this is a joke, right? So I pushed it to my manager. Just the day before? Yeah, the day before. <laughs> pushed it to my manager. I was like, I don't know if this is real. So he's like, oh, this is real. You should do it. So I was like, damn, now do I bail on my friend's wedding? Yep. So Did you? called a couple people. They're like, dude, go. So I bailed. Oh my God. Went to SNL, and well, it was incredible. It was a lot of fun. It was the best sketch. Uh, all right, well, Tyler's book, You Deserve Better, is out everywhere now. And you can follow him on social media for more info on his foundation and everything else he's up to. Tyler, thank you so much thank for you. stopping by.